Hey everyone, Tristan from the CPAPstore.ca. I already made a video on how to clean a CPAP, a very basic video just using soap, water, vinegar, how to rinse out all the chambers and stuff like that. Today I wanna to talk about more on why you wanna clean your CPAP. Now obviously a dirty CPAP is gonna be gross, but why exactly does bacteria grow? Um, how does it grow and how does that make you sick? I think a lot of people kind of neglect cleaning their CPAP or maybe other medical equipment because they don't really quite understand um, how these things can make you sick if you push them a little bit overdue on their cleaning schedule. So bacteria, of course, grows in anywhere with moisture. And of course, a CPAP machine with its humidifier chamber is gonna have moisture both in the mask, in the tube, and in the CPAP uh, water chamber as well. Now the moisture here festers bacteria just like anywhere else in the world. But what's important here is that you're breathing that all night long. Now bacteria grows in places called biofilms. So what are biofilms? Biofilms are a collection or colony of bacteria and they will create kind of a protective housing so that they can live peacefully. Now there are examples of this all over the world. So if you go to a riverbed, for example, you might pick up a rock and that rock might have kind of a slippery sensation on it. So that slippery sensation, that mucous membrane is biofilm. It is a chemical that the bacteria are kind of excreting that both glues them together and also protects them from the outside element. All the water washing over that rock is kind of washing over that mucous membrane and the bacteria are gonna be underneath that. So in our bodies, the same thing happens. Tartar or plaque on your teeth is bacteria. But that plaque itself, um, that white stuff, isn't necessarily just 100% all bacteria. A lot of that is the biofilm that the bacteria are creating. So plaque or tartar is made out of calcium. So the bacteria are taking calcium out of your bloodstream or wherever they can find it, and they're creating a biofilm on your teeth so they can live within it. And that way, when you brush your teeth, you don't just brush the bacteria away. It's a lot harder for the bristles to kind of penetrate that calcium shield. The same thing happens with tonsil stones, for example. So tonsil stones are created in your mouth when you say eat something that gets stuck in the back of your throat. The bacteria are gonna be drawn to that food particle. They're gonna start eating away, right? You're gonna have inflammation there. Now, your immune system is going to want to attack this kind of inflamed bacteria area. So what's happening is the same with the plaque, is the bacteria are creating a calcium barrier or shield uh, which is later, you know, it grows and grows and it's it's considered a tonsil stone, which is why when you take out a tonsil stone, it's kind of a hard kind of feeling. It's almost like a rock. Um, and that's what the biofilm is in your body. The same thing's gonna be happening in your CPAP. So if you look at a glass, say a glass of water that you don't wash for a long time, it has moisture in it, you might see kind of a haze of, um, kind of a haziness. That's the bacteria biofilm. So that's gonna happen in your tube that's gonna happen in your water chamber, that's gonna happen in your mask, which is why it is really important to be washing these things. So to wash these things, you wanna use things like mask wipes. You can wipe down your mask daily. Um, you can use things like a tube cleaner. Okay, this is a little tube cleaner uh, with the soap and water, vinegar, what have you. And of course, a cloth to wipe out that water chamber. So you wanna wipe out those areas, use a brush for your tube and mask wipes for your mask so you can actually wipe off that barrier. Because lots of times, just soaking it, now I know my previous video on how to clean a CPAP, we just kind of mainly talk about you know, putting soap in water, and that soap's gonna break down those biofilms, that soap's gonna break down that bacteria so it can be washed away. But every so often, you should do a deeper clean with tools like this, so you can almost scrub away that biofilm, because it is a little bit harder to get rid of than just washing away bacteria. Now what happens when you don't wash your CPAP machine? Well, you get sick. I think a lot of people kind of confuse getting sick uh, with kind of the common cold or, you know, previously COVID-19, where getting sick is kind of accustomed to having someone who's sick and they get you sick. They're giving you a pathogen that you wouldn't normally have and then you get sick. But an increase or a high level of bacteria, such as the bacteria found in biofilm, which is just from water, for example, uh, will get you sick. So a high level of bacteria is going to overwhelm your immune system and you're gonna have things like sore throat, you might go into a full-blown fever, um, anything that your body's gonna do as an immune response, um, 
to get rid of that bacteria. So you can actually make yourself sick and quite sick by, even if you don't come in contact with anyone, by not washing your CPAP regularly, having bacteria build up. You're making yourself sick just from the poor hygiene there. Now in other aspects of life, it is also possible to wash the things that have biofilm, of course. For example, the plaque in your teeth, the tartar in your teeth, that's bacteria as well. And of course, brushing your teeth, flossing your teeth is gonna get rid of tartar, but things like rinsing your mouth out with warm water with a teaspoon of uh, baking soda uh, you know, mixed in there is going to remove some of that tartar and biofilm as well. The reason why is because the bacteria in your mouth prefer acidic environments and sodium bicarbonate or baking soda is a very alkaline or a basic chemical. So when you just mix it in water and gargle it around your mouth, you're creating a more basic environment, which the bacteria don't like. That um, is kind of a two part thing as well. Baking soda is a little bit abrasive, so it helps kind of get rid of that calcium deposit buildup if you're rinsing regularly. So that's kind of a dental thing. Now, you might ask, should I clean my CPAP tube with uh, baking soda? The answer is no, because it is a little bit abrasive. It can kind of scratch your tube, especially if you're using a, you know, a, a tube with, like this with baking soda. It's gonna scratch your tube, and that area is gonna actually allow bacteria to hold on to the sides of your tube a little bit easier and create even more effective biofilms for themselves, okay? So when it comes to your CPAP, you wanna use things that act both as lubricants and as cleaners. So that's why we recommend just a mild dish soap, um, Dawn, palm olive, you know, whatever mild dish soap, a bit of that is gonna act as a lubrication, right? So this guy here is not scratching your tube, uh, but it's also going to break down those biofilms and allow you to wash out that bacteria properly. Now, another thing you can do is get a lumen. Uh, this is a UV disinfector. So you take this guy out, you have, uh, you put your, you know, your CPAP supplies in there, you put it in and you're able to use UV light to disinfect. However, you can't just not really wash any, not wipe anything out and put it into a disinfector because the UV light works by attacking and killing the bacteria kind of on impact. So it has to actually like see the bacteria, if you will, to kill. So if you have a deposit of biofilm in the corner of your chamber or whatever, it's gonna be a lot harder for a disinfector to actually kill those bacteria. There could be bacteria kind of hiding in those deposits um, that need to be kind of scrubbed out or washed away for this thing to work and kill those bacteria. In fact, um, bacteria within biofilm are a thousand times more resilient to antibiotics than just bacteria on their own. So that's why it's so important to kind of think of cleaning both in terms of bacteria and biofilm because something like a lumen is gonna easily kill the bacteria, but if you don't get rid of those biofilm deposits, uh, the bacteria grow back rate is gonna be a lot quicker. So that's why you need to you know, wa wash, wipe down, and disinfect. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and you can check out our website at thecpapstore.ca if you're looking for a Canadian online retailer of CPAP supplies. We do our best on trying to give you guys affordable prices as well as content like this to help your CPAP experience go a little smoother. Take care.